Hey all, this is Anjali and in this video, we will be discussing question number 5 of 2017 outside Delhi board paper. So here we have already discussed question number 2, 3 and 4 in earlier videos. And in this one, we are going to start with question number 5 which comes for 10 marks in your board exams. Now in this question, they have given you a table named infant and the data inside that. And it is said that question number 1 to 8 are the questions for which you have to write SQL queries, one mark each. And question number 9 and 10 is the SQL query for which you have to tell the output, again one mark each. So let's start. The first question is to display the details about the cot. Now you have to see where the cot is. Okay, cot is here. Means I need to write an SQL query for this. And that SQL query should be select details means select star from infant where this column that is item is equal to cot so how do i write it i write here select star from infant where item is equal to cot then we have option two that is to list the names of items and their unit price that have unit price less than 800 and discount more than 5%. So you just see here it's written to list the names of items and their unit price. So you don't have to write star here. You have to see the name of the items. So we will not write select name because there is no column name over here. So the column name is item. So you have to write select item for showing the item name comma unit price for showing the unit price from from which table from infant table and then I'm supposed to give the conditions conditions are given with where so where unit price is less than 800 so the sign for less than is this unit price is less than 800 and this count is greater than Five. So you just have to write 5, don't put the percentage sign with this because in SQL percentage sign means something else. So discount greater than 5. That's it. That's my question 2. So easy to get marks in SQL. So we have question 3. To list the names of items and their date of purchase that were purchased after 31st December 2015. So to list the name of items and their date of purchase. So for list of items name I have item and for date of purchase the column name is date purchase from name of the table that is infant where where date of date purchase is name of the column where date purchase is after means it should be greater than date purchase is greater than 31st December 2015 you can see in the table the format of data is first we need to write the year so 2015 hyphen you have to write the month that is 12 and then date which is 31 and then quotes close so dates are also given in single quotes and the format you have to use the same which you have in the table so these are the ones which were purchased after if it would have been before then you would put less than sign instead of greater than sign so it is select item comma date purchase these are the two columns which have to be shown from infant table where date purchase is greater than this particular date okay so we get question number four now to display the number of items that have more than 10 percent as discount so you have to show the number of items you don't have to show the items you have to show the number of items that have more than 10% as discount. So to find the number of items, I have to use a function called count because I need number of items, not the items list. So I can write select count star in brackets or I could write select count in bracket item code so that it should count various item codes where the discount is more than 10. So from infant where discount is more than 10% so it's greater than 10 so that's your query 
to get the number of items where the discount is greater than 10. So that would be one only in this. Okay, but you just have to write the query. You don't have to write the output. So fifth question is to display item code and unit price in decreasing order of unit price. So you have to show the item code. So I'll write select item code, comma, unit price from infant. Now, we don't have a condition here. There's no condition, but they've told that you have to show it in decreasing order of unit price. Now, to sort the data, that is to arrange the data in increasing or decreasing order, we have a command order by in SQL. So, we write select item code, comma, unit price from infant, order by unit price, and we want it should be in decreasing order, so it should be DESC. So unit price DESC. Okay, then comes question number six. To increase the unit price of each item by 10% of the unit price. So first of all, you have to increase, means you have to modify the value in the table. And to modify the value in the table, we have a command update. So we'll write update infant set. We have to change what? We have to change unit price. So set unit price is equal to. Now what you have to do with unit price? You have to increase it by 10% of itself. So I have to increase means I have to add something in the unit price. So unit price is equal to unit price plus. Unit price plus what? 10%. 10% can also be written as 0.1 multiplied by unit price. That's it. So here, when I write 0.1 multiplied by unit price, that's actually finding the 10% of unit price that is added to the original value of unit price and that becomes the new value for the unit price. So it's updated. Your table is modified with the help of update command. Okay, next question is seventh question. That is to display the highest unit price of items. Now, which function is used to get the highest value? Yes, it is max. So we have five group functions only. That's count, count, min, max, sum, and average. So max is the function which is used to find the highest value. So what you need to write is you just write select max. And in bracket, I have to write unit price. From where I have to find it, I have to find it from the infant table. And do we have any condition in this to display the highest unit price? No, there's no condition. So that's it. The query ends here. Put a semicolon and we get the answer. So that's how you get the highest unit price in the table. Okay, then comes your question number eight. That is to display the names of items that have baby anywhere in the item name. So you have to display the item name. That means you have to display the item from which table infant where where what now he's saying that where baby should be anywhere in the name so here comes your special condition called like so where item like now baby could be anywhere in the name it's not told that it should be at the beginning or it should be the it should be at the end it could be anywhere so it could be anywhere means it should be percentage baby percentage so there can be any number of characters before baby there can be any number of characters after baby but it should be there anywhere in the name so if it is there it gives true the name will be displayed otherwise not so that's how we check for anywhere in the name okay then nine and two other questions where they have given the sql query and we are supposed to tell the output so the first one says that we have to find mid and mid item 1 comma 2 so mid is used to fetch the characters from anywhere in between the word so 1 comma 2 is 1 is the starting position and 2 is the number of characters in this so as per that from proc it will just pick fr from cot it will pick co because there is no condition so for all rows it's going to fetch and then for soft toy it will be so for baby socks, it will be baby BA. And for baby suit, again, it will be BA. So that's the output of your 
ninth query. So mid item 1 comma 2. So you have to write the heading over here and then all the values in separate rows. You can't write them in one line. You have to write them in different rows. Okay, then comes select average unit price from NPAN where date purchase is greater than 1st Jan 2015. So first I need to find out those records where the date of purchase is after 1st January 2015. So this is 2016, yes, this one, this one, as well as this one. So except 2014, I have to pick all of these. So the unit price is 700 plus 5000 is 5700 plus 800 would be 6500 and then I'll add this, that will be 7000. So I don't have to add this 104. So if I add these 4, I get 7000. 7000 divided by 4. So we have to find average of unit price. So that's going to be 7000 divided by 4, which is going to be 1. And then 7, 5, 0. So that would be the answer for your question number 10. So that's how we answer fifth question of your board exam. So this is all queries related to basic SQL. Sixth question is also related to SQL which again carries 10 marks and this is basically related to joining two tables and creating a table. So we will be discussing the question number six of SQL in the next video. For the time being I hope this question is clear to you how we have solved this question number five. In case of any doubts, do write in the comment section so that I can explain you that and keep watching and if you really find these videos useful, don't forget to click on the like button, share with your friends and yes, do subscribe the channel. Thank you.